it's Kara, and today I thought I would show you my light and natural summery makeup tutorial. It's basically a nude skin with the eye and a more nice evened out kind of skin tone. Something light that you can basically do with any outfit, and I think it's great because it's a little bit of skincare and a little bit of makeup all in one. So if you want to see how I did it, just keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, we are starting with a totally fresh face. I have no makeup on, and I put my hair back in a little scrunchy just because I hate when I'm like blending out any liquids on my face and all of a sudden my hair just smacks on and you take it off and there's like a line or whatever. Anyways, so I'm very, I usually always start with my uh, Mari Badescu skincare. It's facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I'm sure everyone has like seen this all over YouTube. It smells amazing. It's so inexpensive. It's $7 for a four ounce bottle, which is like the equivalent of like four bottles of foundation. And it's only $7. I bought it at Urban Outfitters. It's it smells so good. You can buy this at, I'm pretty sure you can buy it also at Sephora or Blue Mercury or, I mean, it's it smells so good. I love it. So I usually just do like three or four spritzes of this, like, just like let that soak all in. You can put this in your hair too. If you read the label, I'm pretty sure it's this. You could put this in your hair and I actually tried it after the shower once and it was amazing. So I highly recommend considering it's so inexpensive and it's just, I, I, I think I only have good things to say about it. Ever since I started using it, my skin started clearing up, so. Okay, so then now that I'm, like, letting that soak in a little bit, I'm going to then apply my oil-free moisture for sensitive skin by Neutrogena. This stuff is so amazing. I go through so many bottles of it so quickly. This is a little bit more pricey. I'm pretty sure it's, like, 12 or $13, but it's also a four food ounce bottle, so it's kind of worth it because this stuff's really good. So I usually just take a pump, take it on my fingertips, and just kind of blend it in. Okay, so now that I have prepped the skin, it is time for our... Foundation. I wouldn't really call this foundation just because it's like really light coverage and it's so easy to apply. This is, I really like this. I think I got this like, I tried it first tried it last year and I really liked it so then I bought it again this year. It is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup with SPF 18, Super Concentrated, Goji Berry, and Collagen. It looks like this. It is pretty inexpensive. I'm pretty sure this is like $12.28. For the tube and it's so easy to apply. I am in the shade 120 cream ivory. It's also it's like on the lighter side for summer it like doesn't like perfectly match my tan. It's a little bit too light but I think it's not I don't want it to be too dark so. Um, basically what you do to like to get the product out is you would twist it but mine's already twisted enough so that like a lot of it's on the top and I already have pre dampened my beauty blender with my rose water spray so what I usually do is I will take like a couple swipes of this on my face and then just blend it out so like This way, my chin, oh, missed a spot, and then on my forehead. Just gonna blend it out. Okay, so now that that's all blended in, I'm gonna apply some under eye concealer. Um, this is the Rimmel London Match Perfection Stin Skin Tone Adapting Concealer. It is a two-in-one concealer and highlighter, and I am in the shade 125 Fair, and this is $5.99. I got this at, like, Rite Aid or whatever, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to start applying this under my eye. You know how it goes. Wow, it's a lot. Okay. And then here. There we go. Do it a little more. There we go. I'm gonna take a little bit from this side and just put it right down the middle of my nose. If you can see, and then right there. A little bit on the chin. So then I'm just gonna redampen my beauty blender. I always do this. And I'm just going to give it another like Spritz all over. It should be good. And then just apply and blend under my eyes and my chin. So I did that. Did the middle of the forehead. I like to do the under eyes first and then the high points of my face. It also helps to look up when you're doing concealer. So that you really enjoy, you get all the under eye areas. Okay, and then the other eye.
Okay, now before we put anything else on the face, I'm going to prep my legs for eyeshadow. Again, taking this concealer again and just doing like one or two dots on each eyelid and blending that out again with my beauty blender. So I'm just going to go like that and like that and then blend it out. Okay, so now I'm just going to brush out my eyebrows with my little eyebrow spoolie. This is doesn't have any product or gel on it. It's just like a clean one that I use to brush out my brows. I should just like brush them straight up kind of. And that's basically the extent to which I do my eyebrows. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now while I'm letting the face kind of set in and kind of mattify, I'm going to do my eyes. Okay, so I am now taking my Modern Renaissance Eyeshadow Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It comes with these. Uh, is it 14 shadows? Yeah, it's 14. And they are all so pretty. As you can see, it's like a lot of pinks and some oranges and some browns and two shimmer shades, both of which I have hit pan on. So that's, yeah, interesting. To say the least um but i seriously am in love with this palette i think it's so great it has so many great colors for summer so i'm gonna first start by taking the jewel and dip brush that it comes with it has like a fluffy end and then a more like dense end so i'm gonna take the fluffier end and just dip into um tempera which is like this whiter shade on the end here and i am just going to take that and i'm gonna use the mirror on the palette just because it's a little bit easier and closer up so I'll try and do an angle here. I'm going to take that and I'm going to look, I'm going to tilt my head back, but look down so that I can get coverage of the whole eyelid because I learned that way you can get in the crease and blend out on the whole lid without having to raise your eyebrows, which can lead to problems with the shadow and the brows later on. So I'm just going to dip into tempera and basically start on my lid and work my way up to the upper crease and right under the brow bone. And I think it's really important to start off with a base layer or at least prepping your eyelids with some form of concealer or primer because it will cover up any veins you have, it will cover up any discoloration, so really make sure you have an even base for your eyeshadows because if you don't start with an even base, you can't expect it to layer evenly or blend as softly or smoothly um, as opposed to just doing it like on a, a bare lip. So that looks good, I think, yep. And I'm just going to go back in on tempera on the other eye. I usually dip in like two or three times. And because these shades are so pigmented, you really only need a little bit to go a long way. So, yep, as you can see, I'm just taking it all the way back up to the upper brow bone and crease again. Until I think I'm satisfied with the coloration. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> so now I think I'm going to go in with, uh, let's see. I'm going to go in with raw sienna, which is kind of like orangey brown, but I really like it. I think it's like this really perfect shade. And again, these shades are so pigmented. I literally just barely dipped in and I'm just going to tap off the excess. And then here is a really great crease technique when you want to like get a nice soft or even crease. I take the fluffy end and I'm going to start on the outer corner and then work my way inwards in kind of like a C shaped motions or like a half circle shape. So kind of like that really gently. I'm going to start gently and then increase my speed and like intensity to make sure all the product gets on there and also make sure I keep my head in that same position to really ensure that the entire crease, you know, and gets the shadow without having to do anything crazy as opposed to just going like this and lifting my eyelid, which can be painful and also not attractive looking <laughs> to say the least. Okay, so next I think I'm going to be taking, to deepen up the crease a little bit, I'm going to be taking um, Burnt Orange, which is the orange next to Raw Sienna. It's a little bit more orangey and a little bit softer, kind of like a creamsicle almost. So I'm just going to take like the same amount on that, on still on the fluffy end brush, like a brush. And you honestly don't need this palette or this brush. You can really do this with any soft browns or any fluffy brush you have. I just recommend that it be a softer and more like loosely packed brush just because it allows the shadows to blend really softly and nicely in the crease. Because using a more dense or flat top brush is really hard in the crease if you want to get a really even application. So I'm just putting that in the same place that I was putting the raw sienna right on top, just to see how they layer with one another. I think I'm going to take Antique Bronze, which is this like brown and ish, like a um, shimmery brown. And I'm going to take that on this brush again. I know I use this brush a lot. 
and I'm just going to take two dips of that because the shimmers I've noticed are not as pigmented as the mattes. And I'm just going to start on the outer corner on the lid and then work my way up to the crease just to kind of get that outer third looking a little bit darker. Kind of give it a little ombre or butterfly effect for the whole eye. And to finish up the eye look on the flat end of the brush, it kind of looks like this. It's a little bit more densely packed. I'm going to take Golden Ogre, which is this matte yellowish shade, and I'm just going to take like one dip on one side and just kind of like put it on the side, put it on the mobile part of the lid because I feel like if you go like this or if you look at it like this way, you can end up kind of blending it with the crease colors, which is fine, but for this one, I kind of want to keep them separate, so I'm just going to blend that on the lid. And I think that came out great. Now the eye look has concluded, so we are going to go back to the face. I have chosen not to set my face this time just because I feel like sometimes when I set my face into summer, it gets kind of oily and I feel like my pores are getting clogged, so I like to go for something a little bit softer in the summer. Um, so I'm going to take this really big fluffy face blender brush from Bobbi Brown. It is so soft, and I'm going to take my <laughs> Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in the lightest shade, Golden Light. I love this stuff. It's seriously amazing. It looks like this. I dropped it, so that's why it like, cracked a little bit. But other than that, it's like this super pretty like nude shade. It's warm. It's perfectly warm toned, so you can use it for contour or just for bronzing. So what I like to do is I like to take this um, big fluffy brush and just dip into it like a little bit, tap off the excess, and then warm up my cheekbones, that area kind of like starting from my cheeks, and then working my way out towards my ear where like my contour would usually go. So I'm just going to do that on either side of my face. Here, I'll do it without it so you guys can see. Working my way out and then on the cheeks kind of. And then I'm going to take like a couple pats of it and just go on my forehead to kind of accentuate my temples and my hairline. And this will not only like warm up the skin, but it also gives a nice shape to the face. I'm also going to do a little bit of my jawline. Okay, so I'm just going to start applying the mascara, and I am going to use the palette mirror to help me see. So basically, I'm going to start by curling the lashes up and then using the head of the brush, which I find extremely helpful in actually applying product. And up and then side to side. Alright, so as you guys can see, this is the completed look. It, I hope you guys thought it was easy enough and not too complex. This is the eyes. And usually to finish up, what I usually do is I will take my Burt's Bees um, Moisturizing Lip Balm. This is in the shade, or shade, this is in Vanilla Bean. It's so, mm, it smells so good and it's so strong. It keeps my lips soft for so long. And then I usually set my makeup with my rose water spray again, just less spritzes than I usually start with. Usually like only three instead of four. <laughs> so I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope, you know, some of the techniques and things that I was talking about were helpful, despite the fact that I'm like new at this and kind of suck at it. Um, I hoped that you guys enjoyed it and I would love it if you guys would like and subscribe down below. Great. Uh, bye guys.